On today's show, is the Bronco Sport getting sportier? What? What is going on, Ultra Nation? My name is David Boyd, I'm an auto journalist, and I do love all things off-road. You guys know, if you've been a fan of the channel for any time, if there's something to talk about off-road vehicles, you generally want to talk about it. And today, we're going to talk about this thing right here. Autoblog posted up these photos, and I'll link below to the, the website. But this is a Bronco Sport that it looks like they're kind of uh, having a little bit of fun with. You can see up here, they've got some microphones up here. They're definitely checking for wind noise. Look at the racks. You know, you got a pretty beefy rack. I have a feeling you could do some crossbar, you know, right there. Maybe make this more a little more overlandy. But the star of the show is, look how tall this thing is sitting up there. And uh, that's pretty ridiculous because, you know, from the, the article here, more uh, off-road ready Bronco Sport appears in spy photos. The baby Bronco has grown up. Literally, it's taller. And yes, no, it literally is taller. And there was a couple of things I wanted to talk about there. You know, it talks about the exterior it doesn't look like it's been changed, but uh, it mainly looks like suspension changes and should provide a nice boost over the 8.8 .8 inches of ground clearance the Badlands has, which 8.8, .8, that was around in the mid 2000s. That's what the Nissan Xterra's, that's what the Toyota Forerunners uh, had. So that's pretty ridiculous already that the Bronco Sport is getting that kind of, uh, that kind of talk. But let's go into this photos just a little bit deeper and I want to walk through them. Now we see some amber lighting through here. Does that amber lighting have to, is it just a turn signal? Because I can't tell. It looks like he might be in a turning lane, but the light is off. So I, maybe that's what that is. But, or is there something more, more fun around there? Who knows? We can't tell right now, but they're definitely hiding the grill. So we're definitely going to get a gr new grill to this thing. Or two, also, is this just a mid-cycle refresh for this thing? You know, you have to think, okay, the Badlands version of this thing is already, like I said, the article said, 8.8 .8 inches. Are they trying to take it and make it a little bit better? For a mid-cycle refresh, are we going to get a new grill, kind of new taillights? I don't know. I'm curious. You guys definitely in the comments below let me know what you think. But as we walk around this thing, or uh, scroll around this thing, as it were, you can definitely see, you can see the spy photographer there. He's like, uh-oh, I've been caught. Now, let me give my battle cry. <laughs> That's funny. But they're definitely, look at the fenders here. They're definitely hiding some uh, slight changes there. And that's what makes me think it might be a mid-cycle refresh. And just they're taking the Badlands to the next level. Or, you know. They've known to uh, offer new trims trims with these things, so maybe that's part of a new trim or just aftermarket uh, suspension stuff they're doing for, you know, Ford Performance does like to sell lifts and stuff like that, so maybe they're testing that. Now you can see in the taillights back here, it looks like they're definitely hiding something, and I have fun with it a little bit, calling it like, I'm going to call this like a little baby uh, Bronco Sport Raptor. It's not, by any means. This is not a, a Bronco Sport Raptor, but look at the tires. These are definitely, uh, I would say these are a, definitely a 32-inch tire, if not maybe a 33-inch tire. It's hard to tell there. Those look like maybe might be 18-inch uh, wheels on there, but they're definitely a new wheel to that thing, something a little more sporty, a little more rugged looking, and I think this, uh, as tall as this thing sets up, it's definitely deserving to uh, have something like that, but no, uh, no side armor here, so if you were actually going to take it out you know, to have fun with it, I don't see any kind of protection there. But the taillights definitely, they look like they're, uh, you know, there's something a little different to me right there. Might not be. Remember, these are just me talking speculations. But there definitely looks like there might be uh, something a little different there. And you can see, once again, the little microphone up here where they're checking for wind noise. But look at the dual exhaust on this thing. Those are flared out for a reason. And that makes me think there. this is something, uh, you know, I won't call it Raptor. We can't call it Warthog-like. But it just seems like they're doing something a little more fun. And, you know, we... We do have a feeling that the Maverick is about to get an ST version, something a little more sporty. And is this going to be the complementary version because they're built in the same area? Is this uh, going to be something complementary to that vehicle that, that gives the, the sport buyer something a little more peppy? You know, obviously, they're not going to put the three liter in there, twin turbo. But uh, damn, that would be nice. Anyways, we're, uh, we know they're not going to do that. But I think this is uh, I think it's pretty telling. That Ford has some more plans up their sleeves, and they're not just going to rest on their laurels. They're not going to say, "Hey, yeah, we've done this. We kind of uh, we sold a ton of these things, and people are excited by it." No, they're not going to rest on their uh, what they've done in the past. They're going to keep moving forward, and I like it. And once again, you can't see much back here. Uh, definitely uh, some things that uh, they're hiding, but uh, the taillights look slightly different to me. And overall, once again, you can see the little camera or camera or. Uh, microphone up there to check that but the dual exhaust on the thing all looks pretty uh pretty interesting so in the comments below where are you at with this thing if you're a bronco sport buyer are you interested in something like this or are you like nah i might want to move up to the uh the next version of this thing and go from there i'm curious what you guys think so in the comments below you know do that typing thing and uh, if you haven't yet smash the like button for me the algorithm does love that and i do appreciate it as well and think about getting a subscription so whether it be two-wheel drive
four wheel drive or this badass looking little sport. I'm probably going to get to drive. This has been your all terrain nation. I'm your host, David Boyd, and we're out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.